David again. About my self-harm, it's been about like two and a half, three weeks, I'm guessing. <coughs> Using COBE skills, but sometimes it's hard. Like I said before in the other one. It's hard, it's easier to use unhealthy coping skills than it is um, good coping skills because we know the old ones work better than the new ones that we're learning and they take longer and the older ones don't take as long because that's why we're using them and uh, I had like a year I relapsed in self-harm then I actually ended up a year again then I actually, a few about a month ago, a month and a half ago, I relapsed in self-harm. And now it's even harder this time around to stop. And, uh, like I've said, people don't, doesn't understand self-harm, won't understand. But, um, I want to self-harm, but like I said, I'm using combs healthy coping skills so I got all kinds of coping skills I use self-talk I use been using this YouTube and some other uh, coping skills and I'm doing the best I can with what I was what I'm was giving but uh it's easier to deal it's some not easy to deal sometimes it's Yes, it's easier to do the self-harm than deal with all the emotional pain and emotional pain. It's easier to feel with the burning than it is the uh, new coping skills that I'm learning. So a lot of people don't understand that. But uh, sometimes I just want to burn but what what I use to burn would I leave at home because I have certain places where I go to self harm I don't do it pretty much when I'm home and uh but the more COBA skills that I healthy COBA skills that I can get the better I got a chance of getting away from self harm like I said, the one I use a lot is trying to visualize a stop sign for stop. Another one I use use sometimes is count from 1 to 10 or 1 from 100. Count backwards. So that way it's a little harder counting backwards from, instead of going up, trying to remember counting down from like 100 or 10, whatever I need at that time. Because it's harder to count backwards than it is to count forward. To me, anyway, that's for me. And, uh, I think now it's been like two and a half, three weeks. So. And I wasn't going to go to a meeting tonight. Well, I think tomorrow's beyond bandages, but I don't think I'm going to make it down there. I don't have the gas money, but, uh, but I got a meeting tonight I wasn't going to go to, but I'm probably going to go to tonight. And when you see this, it might be a different night, but not t tonight. But, uh, doing the best I can with what Cobra skills that I. I was giving in all the new ones that I'm learning. And music too is a big thing for me too. It gets me out of my head listening to music. I forgot my headset so but I like it blaring in my ears so focus on the music and not what's in my head it's getting windy as hell out so if you hear the wind sorry about that put up the window
No, that didn't work. No, this. But, uh. I do definitely got to get beyond bandages because basically people down there are the only ones that's going to understand. What's nice about the meeting that I go to a lot, Smart Recovery, they, uh, people know me there, so it's kind of hard for me to, basically they call me on my crap because I've been there, they know me pretty well. Um, my friend is a big help too, she calls me on my crap sometimes. But, uh, but I wasn't going to go to the meeting, but I figured I'd better because sometimes going to not going to meetings are not healthy either. Because the more healthier COBA skills I can learn, the better it is for me. But, um, there's another th uh, it's a skill that I learned too for my burning. It's pretty, pretty, pretty intense. And there's other tricks. And people's like, oh, put the rubber band on your wrist and snap that. No, that's not a good idea. I have a bloody wrist. So that's not a good idea either. The rubber band trick's definitely not working would not work for me i've never tried it but i know it won't so i know for a fact it won't so it's not worth trying for me and uh getting hungry too but um lost train of thought but i hope this these help people when i post them I hope they do. But, uh, yeah. And I finally got my therapist appointment, so. But I gotta cancel for Friday, because I gotta do something. But, uh, that will definitely help getting back into therapy. I got a lot of back past that wasn't healthy. So, that doesn't help my mind either. All that back past that I dug up in therapy that I got to finish going through. I'm glad I did go to therapy because it put a light, opened my eyes to things. So, but, uh, Every day is basically a struggle trying not to self-harm. It's like my drug, uh, like an alcoholic and drug addict, that's their drug, this is my drug, self-harm. And i <clears throat> doing the best I can not to. But in my head, it's like it's not hurting anybody else, so what the hell, why not? Because it's only hurting me, but in technicality it does hurt other people knowing that I'm self-harming myself so I gotta do the best I can to stay in recovery but sometimes it's hard because it's easier to deal with the burning pain than it is the emotional pain and I do the best I can with what tools I'm learning I try to stay away from it but uh, the more I learn, the, hopefully the easier it gets. So then I'll have more coping skills, healthy coping skills, instead of unhealthy coping skills. But uh, like I said, I do the best with what, what I have. So... That's all we anybody can do the best do the best with what we have. So
so that's all I can do. That's it. <laughs>